What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I will answer one of the most confusing questions. When should you use functions and when custom events? And basically, what are their differences? So, let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so let me go ahead and just open a blueprint. For example, the third person character, just to show you uh, basically the differences. So let's start a bit with custom events. So to create a custom event, you say add custom event and there we go. So the first thing that we find on custom events is that basically they will basically be in the main event graph. They will be just on the regular working space and they will not contain a separate event graph, not like functions. We'll see it in a second and a bit more clear. Next up, uh, custom events can contain inputs. So you can actually, when you call it, for example, custom event, you can see that we have the two parameters over here and when you do something you basically call it and you pass some parameters so basically they can input stuff now let's go quickly into functions so to create a function just go into the left side and just add a function over here so this is a function and like you can see the first difference is that it has its own event graph basically it has its own working space so this means that basically it, we have more space to just make huge systems and with the event graph we do have to have a bit more careful on how we um, organize our stuff our spaghetti code basically then functions can have inputs like in the customer but they can also have outputs which is the first difference uh, the customer events cannot contain any output but functions can so the main differences right now is the functions have their own working space, their own event graph, and they can return an output. Next up, next difference is that the custom events can have delays on it. So ba basically they can have an interruption on their time on the compilation. But in functions, we can't. We can't add a delay if we want to. So that's another difference. So next up, one of the last differences over here is that functions basically can have their own local variables just for the work uh, for this workspace for this event graph which just makes it more efficient to create big systems now the event graph what you have to do to create a variable is just make it locally there's no way i just create a variable used uh, only for the custom event you have to do it so in the uh, functions to just create local variables so basically when should you use which? Well, there's no right or wrong answer. It's what you decide is more efficient for the code that you're basically gonna write. If you're gonna create, so this is my approach for it. If I'm gonna go ahead and create a huge system, which involves a lot of outputs and a lot of local variables, which will be coming handy in a separate event graph, for example, creating a whole inventory system, it will make sense to create a function. But if I'm going to make a small thing, for example, just spawn some enemies and update a counter, a countdown or something like that, well, I'll do so in the custom, in a custom event. So it's basically how you think is the best way of doing so in their specific tasks that you're going to basically complete. So that's it, guys. If you found it so helpful and it's hopefully clear to your answers, well, let, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials in this one, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. Check out the links in the description for our some Unreal Engine 5 courses. And now, yes, we all said bye-bye.